Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to fetch all the labels or categories in your Blogger website with JSON using JavaScript. So let's get started. Right here is my Blogger website and if I go to the dashboard of my Blogger website, here we can see we have these posts and in the posts we have these labels or categories. So if I open this post, we can see on the right side we have added these two terms as the labels and we can add labels to all the posts in our blogger website. Now in this video we're going to see how to fetch all these uh, labels or categories with JSON using JavaScript. So for that the first thing we need to do is we need to go into the theme. So let's click on theme and uh, I'm using this theme called Contempo Lite which comes by default with blogger. Right, let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. Now let's go to the start of the body tag and we will write all the code over there. So let's just search for less than body and let's write our code over here. So we will just simply create a division and let's give it a class of all labels. And in that we will have an unordered list. And in the unordered list we will have all the list items with the categories. Now before fetching the categories, let me just show you the link that we need to use for the API. So the link that you have to use is the URL of your website and then you have to add a forward slash and then you have to type feeds forward slash posts forward slash default question mark alt equals JSON. And now if I press enter, here we can see all the information of our website is displayed in JSON format. But by default in the browser it will display like this. So you have to use an extension called JSON Formatter. So you can simply install this JSON Formatter for Chrome and then you'll have this option to view it in a parsed format. So this is how the JSON data looks. And here we can see we have a lot of information about our blog. We have the version, encoding and all of those things. And this feed over here is the most important thing that we need to have. So if you scroll down here, we can see we have the categories listed over here. We have an array of objects and we have all the categories displayed over here. And if you scroll down even more, we have the title of our blog and uh, we have the subtitle. So if you open the website once again, here we can see this is the title. So here we have the title live blogger and this is the subtitle learn to create an awesome blog. So here we can see we have the subtitle displayed over here. In the same way, we also have a lot of other information. And if you scroll down even more, we have the author information. And then if you scroll down even more, we have all the posts displayed over here. So here we can see we have the latest post and uh, we have the title of the post displayed over here, fifth post. And if you go back to our website, here we have the fifth post. And we also have the categories of the post displayed over here. And if you scroll down even more, we have the content of the post displayed. And... Uh, we also have the information about the thumbnail. So here we can see this is the thumbnail of the post. And if you scroll down even more, we have the next post, which is fourth post. And if you scroll down, we have the fourth post. And the same way we have the details of all the posts displayed over here. So we can access all of this data using JavaScript. So let's go ahead and copy this link from here. And let's go back to our theme code. And let's start writing the code. Now you have to add the link inside a script tag. So let's create a script tag. And uh, let's add an src attribute. And here we will add the link. So I'll just paste the link over here. Now since we need to use this data in our code, we also need to add json-in-script over here. And then you have to type ampersand callback. And here we need to add a function. So I'll just name the function fetch all labels or all categories. So this is going to be the link which will get all the data into our code. So here let's create another script tag and let's write the JavaScript code. First of all, I'll just display it in the console. So let's create this function which we added over here called fetch all categories. So let's type const fetch all categories. 
Now when we use this uh, callback function, we also get some data as an argument. So let's add the argument over here. I'll just name it data. You can add any name you want over here. And now let's simply go ahead and console.log the data. So let's type console.log data. And let's see whether we have the correct data being fetched. So let's click on save. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And let's open the console and let's see whether everything is working all right. Let's go to console. And here we can see we have some errors. So let's go back to our code. And here instead of at sign, we need to add the ampersand symbol. So let's tap ampersand. And since this is XML, you have to tap ampersand AMP semicolon. And let's save it. Right now, let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see we have this data returned and uh, we have the feed just like we saw in the previous example. And in the feed, we have all this data. And here we can see we have the categories displayed. We have the entry where we have all the blog posts. So let's go ahead and display the first category and let's see whether photography is displayed over here. So let's go back and uh, I'll just type data dot feed dot category and let's access the first category which is zero and let's save it and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see photography is displayed over here now each category is an object so if you open this we have a term over here so to get the actual category name we have to type dot term Right now let's go back to our code and let's write a function to populate the unordered list. So let's create a function with the name of display all categories. And we'll pass the category to this function. So let's call the function over here. Let's type display all categories and let's pass the categories. So let's type data dot feed dot category. And now we can simply delete this line of code. Right now let's write this function. Now here in this function, I'll just call it categories. We can name this anything you want. And uh, since there are multiple elements in the categories, we need to loop through all the elements. So we will use a for each loop for that. Let's type categories dot for each. And I will call each of the categories C. And uh, let's create an arrow function over here. Now here, first of all, let's display all the categories in the console. So let's type console.log c.term and let's save it. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see all the categories are displayed over here. Now the last thing we need to do is add all these categories inside this UL. So what we need to do is uh, we need to create the list items inside the JavaScript and we need to append the list items inside this UL. So for that, first of all, let's access this UL. So let's tap const all labels list. You can name this anything you want equals document dot query selector. And uh, here we have this class of all labels. So let's type dot all labels ul right now in this function we need to create the list items so let's type const and i'll just name it li equals document dot create element and let's type li over here we need to create an li element and then we also need to create an anchor tag so let's type const a equals document dot create element a and now we need to set the content of the anchor tag to the category. So let's type a dot inner HTML equals C dot term, which is the category. And we also need to add a link to the anchor tag. So let's type a dot href equals. And here for the link, I'll use backticks and let's type HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash live blogger official dot blogspot dot com forward slash search forward slash label forward slash category so for the category we can just type c dot term so let's type 
dollar symbol curly braces and here let's tap c.term and this is going to be the link of our label right now we need to add this anchor tag inside this li so let's type li dot append child a and we need to add the li to this ul and the ul is referenced as all labels list so let's type all labels list dot append child li right now let's save this and now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and here we can see all the labels are displayed over here and uh, if we click on any of these labels we are taken to the link of that label so everything is working all right and now you can go ahead and add some css and make it look better right so that's basically how you can access all the labels inside your blogger website using javascript with json all right that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day